Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax. Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here and see me slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you mean? Raymond, get out of the ring. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were... I was sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Bars... Starts in two weeks. You want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. I told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Trailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. Wait. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again. 
stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. Well, well, will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. This is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Final round for Andre Bishop in a fight that's really been a walk through the park with how supremely skilled he is. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Bombs away with a hook by Andre Bishop. Good work. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Good flush shot upstairs. Bishop's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Andre Bishop. Solid left hand to the head. Another left hand from him. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. Bishop! Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? Is this your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop which should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. 
Bishop's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's out. Since breaking his right hand against a very game Meldrick Johnson. Tonight, Bishop faces Reggie Stewart. Gus Carisi, the trainer for Bishop, assures us that he's better than ever, that the right hand is not a factor. I'm not gonna call his trainer a liar, but trainers have been known to bend the truth a little bit. Obviously, if his hand wasn't right, he's not gonna let anybody know. He doesn't want anybody to take advantage of that fact, but the fact is it should be fine. It's been tested already in gym workouts. Stewart's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How can it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. And if you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop. And another, that's a good sign. Stewart's not looking so solid on his feet. And he's clinching. That's a smart veteran move. Give yourself a break. Yeah, to be a top fighter, to be a champion someday, you have to sometimes put your pride over on the side. He's doing that right now. It's not about pride right now. It's about being smart. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. One, two, three, four, five. You talk about putting an issue to rest. How about Andre Bishop scoring a knockout? With the injured right hand, everybody was questioning. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, and he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. From the Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, we present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. A lot of confidence coming from Andre. Cooper catches Bishop clean. And oh no, there's blood over the right eye. Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, his corner man's going to have to take care of him. The cut man's going to have to stop that bleeding. But that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now. Be better. And Cooper has a real big chance here. His confidence gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he could do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Cooper's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. And away he goes. One, two, three. Oh. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. you got to keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. And he paid a price. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. Wow! Cooper's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. This one's going down as a TKO loss for him, Teddy. He didn't have an answer for the right hand from the first round to the last one. 
For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight.